Hi all. I'm absolutely delighted to say my Blitz repertoire, my mega aggressive 1E4 Blitz repertoire, I've been carefully constructing it and documenting it in the last few weeks. And it's now available at Chessable. If you go to the books, so home uh, books on published or for white, uh, well actually published or featured, uh, you'll see uh, this repertoire. So if you click onto it and then click browse, you can see the main uh, variations. And what I've done really, there, there is some choices in it. It's not one E4, I've looked at the main response systems. So E5 is like one of the more common responses. Against E5, I've put three different choices actually, because this is actually my evolving repertoire and I like to have a bit of variety in my own blitz and the repertoire reflects that preference. So sometimes when in a really aggressive mood, I'll play the King's Gambit. In a less aggressive move, I'll, mood, I'll play the more conservative Vienna game, which many have described as a kind of delayed King's Gambit. You're still sometimes playing the F4 move. But recently, Kasparov came back and demonstrated the virtues of the Scotch game, which I've, I've started to dabble in and even beat an IM recently. But uh, yeah, so I've actually got three different choices against the Scotch game. Against the Scotch game? Against 1e5. And I've also put the Reti Gambit against the French, which is B3, a very interesting uh, system which should get your French defence opponents on their own resources, throw them on, on their own resources. The Fantasy variation against the Korokan, uh, which Lawrence Trent has also been an enthusiast of, a uh, very, very exciting line, uh, which can transpose sometimes into the Black Modema Gambit. Of course, my treasured Smith Mora Gambit, which I've used with great success in two major Lee chess tournaments just this week, actually. And by doing the repertoire, it's given me a lot more confidence, actually, than ever before. Uh, this is a really good gambit, which actually is not just restricted to Blitz, even in over the board games. Uh, Mark Esserman drew with Vichy Anand uh, recently at Gibraltar with the Smith Morrow Gambit, and he had a really good position. Some GMs are saying, you know, he could have played for a win. Uh, so yeah, the Smith Morrow Gambit is a dangerous weapon on any time control. The Austrian attack against the Pope, that's the system of, you've got pawns on D4, E4 and F4. It's the one Nakamura used with great success to win the Foxwoods Open against a strong GM when he was up and coming. He won thousands of dollars with that in a key game that helped uh, the Austrian attack. So I've explored that system. I've used it myself with some success as well. Wonderfully uh, attacking games. Great weapon for Blitz chess. Sometimes the modern can be transposing to the perk Piazza, you know, if d6 is played. Uh, against the Alekine defense, I've put two systems. One's the Spillman Gambit, uh, which is a very, very interesting use of e6 as a destructive pawn sack. And another one is an aggressive, quite well known aggressive queen sortie to h5, which is not as silly as it seems. It keeps the tension, it keeps a bind on the position with a pawn wedge on e5. Against the Scandinavian b4 gambit, I've explored that a bit as a, a Scandinavian surprise weapon, which might be effective on blitz against most opponents. Although probably not certain IMs that are really, really good at the Scandinavian. <laughs> but follow me, <laughs> for example. Okay. Uh, but against ordinary opponents, that kind of thing could be quite dangerous. The Owens defense is B6. Um, so I'll put a class, more classical system. No need for any major gambit against that. The Nimzovich defense, I put an aggressive system with an early D5, Queen D4. So these are all systems which I've experienced to some degree and used to some degree. And um, it's my workhorse repertoire. I'll be evolving this and you'll get free updates. It is slightly more expensive than the traps repertoires, which are more clearly defined. Uh, so this is at um, 9.99, so slightly more expensive, but a lot more work has been put than these two put together. A lot more work <laughs> and research. Okay. Um, and as a sort of testimony, just this week, I won on Lee Chess, the weekly classical, 
and in particular the Smith Morrigan bit helped and also the weekly blitz and I thought actually too exhausted to play in the weekly classical the day after so these are tournaments with over a thousand players basically on the chess which this aggressive blitz repertoire is kind of the relevant thing so a lot of us do play blitz online you have a look at your bookshelf and wonder did anyone do a repertoire for blitz chess probably not because the internet's relatively new compared to if you've got if you're like me kind of uh, you got books from like 20 30 years ago you know blitz chess wasn't a, a key thing but nowadays a lot of people are playing blitz chess online that's why the niche of this repertoire is kind of blitz and it's aggressive if you want to be aggressive often it's gambits you sacrifice a bit of material for peace pressure quality peace quality uh, putting the opponent on the back foot having to solve problems and if you don't beat them on position you could win on time i know that's naughty but that's the nature of blitz chess it's a time pressure setting the opponent problems might not be the soundest systems in the world you know uh but uh, a lot of these have been you you know used in in over the board chess even by super grandmasters we can't say the king's game is just a relic from the romantic era when occasionally it's reeled out by the likes of nakamura for example he beat adams with it at the london classic so yeah these systems are used uh you know in high level games a lot of them so yeah i hope you check that out and um i'll be evolving this this is my workhorse uh, e4 aggressive mega aggressive repertoire basically okay comments questions likes appreciated thanks very much